What's up guys? My name is Hi sir. A few inches later. What's up guys? Joe from MediaCast and today's video is all about how to make your basic home studio setup. These are the common questions that we're getting from our customers and most of them are clueless on how to set up a home studio. As soon as you finish watching this short video, you will learn how to set up your own. Alright, first thing you need to consider in building a home studio is what do you want to record? Are you playing instrument? Do you play guitar or maybe you're recording a voiceover? Since we're building a digital auto workstation, we need a computer. It's either PC or Mac. And you need a recording software applications like Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase. On our setup, we will use GarageBand on Mac. Second thing we need is an audio interface. To connect all our input and output devices like instruments, microphones, monitor speakers, and headphones. On our setup, we're using an M Audio M-Track 2x2. It's a USB audio interface that offers two channel and one microphone preamp. Next, maybe you want to record voice with studio quality audio. And for this requirement, we need a condenser microphone. On our case, we're using a Marantz MPM-1000. We need to connect this using XLR cables. Software applications for recording has its own virtual instruments that you can instantly use for your music production. On this case, we need a MIDI controller to play keys, bass, percussion, you might be needing a portable one from M Audio like this, the Keystation Mini 32, or this for a complex type of production. We will connect this through one of the USB ports on your computer. And lastly, our home studio setup won't be complete without home studio monitors and headphones for monitoring. Output devices like this are connected to your audio interface. Alright guys, our home studio setup is up and running. The only thing we need is to lay out all our musical ideas, create your own songs or composition. Hope you learned from our music production tips and see you in our next video. Again, this is Joe signing off. Thank you for watching.